Orchitis is a medical condition characterized by inflammation of one or both testicles. It's a condition that can cause significant discomfort and concern for those affected. At its core, orchitis typically arises due to an infection, either with a virus or bacteria. When this happens, the affected testicle becomes swollen, painful, and tender. It's worth noting that orchitis can affect men of all ages, from young boys to older adults, though it's most common in young and middle-aged men. Orchitis isn't an extremely common condition, but it's not rare either. Studies suggest that about one in every 1,000 males will develop orchitis at some point in their lives. Types of orchitis Orchitis can be categorized into different types based on its underlying cause. The two main types are viral orchitis and bacterial orchitis. Number 1. Vital orchitis Viral orchitis is the most common type, often occurring as a complication of an infection with the mumps virus in adult men, which we will get to in more details in a minute. Viral orchitis typically affects one testicle, though in about 15 to 30% of cases, both testicles may be involved. Number two, bacterial orchitis. Bacterial orchitis is less common, and it is often linked to infections that spread from nearby structures, like the epididymis or the urinary tract. Causes of orchitis. The causes of orchitis can vary depending on the type. For viral orchitis, mumps is the most common culprit. The mumps is a highly contagious virus that can spread through saliva, respiratory secretions, or direct contact with contaminated surfaces. Before widespread vaccination, mumps was a common childhood illness, but today, cases are rare in countries where the mumps vaccine is part of routine immunization schedules. However, outbreaks can still occur, particularly among unvaccinated individuals or in certain communities. If an adult male contracts mumps, there's a chance that the infection will spread to the testicles, leading to orchitis. Other viruses, though much rarer, can also cause testicular inflammation, but mumps remains the primary viral cause. Bacterial orchitis, on the other hand, can develop from several different bacterial infections. In younger men, sexually transmitted infections like gonorrhea and chlamydia are common causes. These bacteria can travel from the urethra through the vas deferens to the epididymis and testicles, leading to inflammation. In older men, urinary tract infections, or bladder infections, can spread to the testicles, especially if there's underlying prostate disease or catheter use, which increases the risk of bacterial migration. Men who have a history of epididymitis, particularly untreated or recurrent episodes, are also at a higher risk of developing bacterial orchitis. Symptoms of orchitis. The symptoms of orchitis can develop gradually or appear suddenly, often causing significant discomfort. The most common and noticeable symptom is pain and swelling in one or both testicles. This pain can range from a dull ache to a sharp, severe pain that can make walking or even sitting uncomfortable. The affected testicle often becomes noticeably swollen and may feel heavy. The skin may appear shiny or stretched due to the swelling, and touching the area may exacerbate the pain. Some men describe the pain as similar to being kicked in the groin, a constant, throbbing discomfort that can be quite distressing. In addition to the localized symptoms, orchitis can cause systemic symptoms, especially in cases of viral orchitis. These may include fever, fatigue, headache, and general body aches. Some men may experience nausea or vomiting. In cases of bacterial orchitis, there may be symptoms related to urinary tract infection, such as frequent urination, a burning sensation while urinating, or discharge from the penis. These symptoms often precede the testicular pain and swelling. In rare cases, if the swelling and inflammation persist without treatment, it can lead to complications such as abscess formation or, in extreme cases, tissue damage to the testicle, resulting in long-term issues such as infertility. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Diagnosis of Orchitis Diagnosing orchitis typically begins with a thorough medical history and physical examination. The doctor will ask about symptoms, their onset and duration, any recent illnesses or infections, sexual history, and vaccination status. During the physical exam, the doctor will carefully examine the testicles, 
looking for swelling, tenderness, and any lumps or masses. To confirm the diagnosis and determine the type of orchitis, several tests may be conducted. A urine test is often performed to check for signs of infection and to identify any bacteria present. Blood tests can help detect signs of infection and inflammation, as well as check for certain antibodies that might indicate a viral cause. In some cases, the doctor may recommend an ultrasound of the scrotum. This imaging test can help differentiate orchitis from other conditions that can cause testicular pain and swelling, such as testicular torsion, which is a medical emergency where the testicle twists on itself, cutting off its blood supply, or even testicular cancer. In some cases, if a sexually transmitted infection is suspected, the doctor may take swabs from the urethra for testing. Treatment for orchitis The treatment of orchitis depends on its cause and severity. In viral cases such as mumps orchitis, treatment is generally supportive, as there is no specific antiviral therapy for mumps. The primary goal is to manage symptoms and allow the body to heal. Rest is crucial to recovery, as it helps reduce swelling and minimizes discomfort. Over-the-counter pain relievers, such as ibuprofen or acetaminophen, are often recommended to alleviate pain and reduce inflammation. Applying cold packs to the scrotum can also help with swelling and discomfort. It's important for men with viral orchitis to avoid physical exertion, especially activities that involve the testicles, until the inflammation subsides. Bacterial orchitis, on the other hand, requires prompt antibiotic treatment to clear the underlying infection. The choice of antibiotics depends on the specific bacteria involved. For example, if the orchitis is caused by a sexually transmitted infection like chlamydia or gonorrhea, antibiotics such as doxycycline or azithromycin may be prescribed. In cases where urinary tract bacteria, such as E. coli, are responsible, antibiotics like ciprofloxacin or trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole may be used. It's important to complete the full course of antibiotics, even if symptoms improve before the medication is finished, to prevent the infection from returning or worsening. In severe cases of bacterial orchitis or if abscesses form, hospitalization and intravenous antibiotics may be necessary. It's worth noting that while most cases of orchitis resolve without long-term complications, there can be effects on fertility. Inflammation can damage the sperm-producing tissues of the testicle, potentially leading to decreased sperm production or quality. In cases where both testicles are affected, or in recurrent cases, this can sometimes result in infertility. However, permanent infertility from orchitis is relatively rare. Prevention of orchitis Prevention of orchitis primarily involves reducing risk factors. Vaccination against mumps is crucial in preventing viral orchitis caused by the mumps virus. Practicing safe sex, including using condoms and limiting sexual partners, can help prevent sexually transmitted infections that can lead to orchitis. Good hygiene practices, especially after using the bathroom, can help prevent the spread of bacteria that might cause urinary tract infections and subsequent orchitis. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you or someone you know ever experienced orchitis? What were some of the symptoms or challenges that stood out the most? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.